Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's little short video, I hope, on drawing something symmetrical with your freehand tool. Just yesterday, I made a video about setting your freehand smoothness, something. So I put a guideline in the center of the page and I'm just gonna draw some uh, shapes, uh, not really anything particular, but as long as you go back to your guideline when you do that, you're gonna have something equal, equal. Now to even smooth it up more, if you have X7 or above, we can grab the, the shape or the smoothing tool and we can smooth out some of these corners, making it look a little bit better. And just depending on what you're drawing. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it and then take that node and put that node right there on top of that one. Now you have a symmetrical, let's take away the guideline for a second, and you have a symmetrical drawing. I'm not gonna ever say you're gonna draw that, but let's back up here. The other way you could do that is before you, so control D and make a duplicate, grabbing this handle right here, and you can just move it over. So I mean, I'm, let me back up. I'm holding down the control button, which constrains it to go across equally. So you get the same effect. Now, if you if you look at that and you don't like it, you can always delete that one and change this. You know, let's get the smoothing tool maybe more and, and smooth it out a little bit more. There's a lot of tools you could use. You know, you could get a twirl. We must have, the, must have already had a duplicate. You know, get the twirl tool and twirl this. You need to click on it till you get your bounty box. And then I would take the, the smoothing tool again and smooth out that part right there, smooth out that part right there, and you get a totally different look. And then you just control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button, getting that handle, and voila. I'm not saying you'd ever draw that, but if you were just drawing a candlestick, um, you know, using rectangles and stuff, you can uh, draw it so much easier by drawing in the center of the page, hit P. And I'm gonna show you here in just a second, hit P. Let's make that a little bit wider, hit P. That's gonna be our base to our candlestick. I'm not gonna get into it too much, but let's go, let's uh, weld that together and get rid of that. Let's take, uh, let's zoom in here a little bit. And this way you only have to do one side. I've made several videos on this. But let's just say you're doing something like that. And to mimic that perfectly would be rather difficult. We'll take your virtual segment delete key and delete that side. The guideline's gonna stop it. Control D and make a duplicate and then flip it over and you have that shape. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit.